Back in this country, political dispute shows little signs of dialing down with repeated passing of bills by the opposition and the ruling party continuously asking the president to reject them. This time, lawmakers wrangled over a controversial pro-labor bill. Our political correspondent Shin Ha-young reports. The first day of the August extraordinary session has begun and the standoff between the rival parties over contentious bills continues. The opposition-led National Assembly on Monday approved what's been dubbed the Yellow Envelope Bill, a revision to the Trade Union and Labor Relations Adjustment Act. It passed a bill with 177 votes in favor and two against amid a ruling People Power Party boycott. The vote followed a 31-hour-long debate initiated by the PPP on Friday after the main opposition Democratic Party tabled the bill. The filibuster ended automatically at midnight on Saturday with the conclusion of the July extraordinary session. The poor labor bill aims to restrict companies from asserting claims for damages in valid union disputes. The Yellow Envelope Bill is a livelihood bill designed to fill legal gaps and improve the labor market. Ensuring the right to strike is both a constitutional duty of the country and a right of workers. The PPP plans to urge the president to exercise his veto power on six bills, including the one passed on Monday, as well as the four broadcasting bills and a cash handout bill passed last week. There are no breaks on the DP's legislative flood. We urge the president to exercise his veto power. As the August extraordinary session begins today, we call on the DP to end the political strife and focus on people's livelihoods. Since the 22nd National Assembly began, livelihood bills, including those addressing the low birth rate, have been pushed aside due to the ongoing partisan conflict. The rival parties have been blaming each other for sidelining these bills. Meanwhile, also at Monday's session, the Assembly passed a bill approving the appointment of Supreme Court Justice nominee Yi soo this time with the PPP's participation. Yi was earlier selected by Supreme Court Chief Justice Cho hee to replace one of the three outgoing justices at the top court. However, Yi's confirmation hearing was delayed after it was revealed that her daughter made a 63-fold profit by selling shares but with her father's money, giving this back to her father. Shin Ha-young. Arirang News.